It's another lovely day down the Ubnut garage, and this time Ubnut is preparing to change a cabin filter on his Nissan Primera. But oh no, it's already going wrong. Oh no. It's the wrong screwdriver. What can I say? It was a rookie error. I've already taken the glove box out of that car. I can't believe I made such a stupid error. We've got to go shopping this afternoon. I know how much this means to Miss Hubnut. I know how much it means to the children. Fast food, disgusting fast food, and I'm putting it all in jeopardy. Oh, it's okay. I have the correct screwdriver. I forgot I have a complete drawer of screwdrivers. Silly me. But it's not long until our hero gets distracted by something completely unrelated. Is it just me? Or are the windscreen wipers on a Nissan Primera P11 really ugly? It's distracting me from my job. <sighs> now come on, Mr. Abner. Back to work. Get on with it. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that for a moment. Thankfully, the glove box is out. Well, this is confusing. Where does this new filter go? At this point, I was baffled. I had no idea how to proceed. Why did it not come with instructions? I had no way of knowing. What, what, sorry? Oh, 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 thank you. Oh, that could, that, that, that could be useful. Cheers. Oh dear, Mr. Abner. No, it looks like you're fooling around in the dark. I didn't know what to think. Was this where the filter lived? It didn't seem that obvious to me. Uh, I struggled and struggled, and the manual did not necessarily make things clear. In fact, it didn't actually contain anything about it at all, which made the previous point a bit of a misnomer. But I think I could see a way out. Oh, I see. Uh, it says right-hand drive, flick up. Oh, I think it's coming out. Careful, Mr. Abner, that could be mucky. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how dirty that is. Yeah. Oh, that was disgusting. I'd never seen such a nasty, nasty cabin filter. Well, not since I did the same job on a Rover 75 anyway, which thinking about it was the last time I replaced a cabin filter. My gosh, it's horrendous. That's disgusting. It's dropped stuff all over the floor. And there's bits of leaf in here. This job just gets worse. Oh, well, that looks like quite a fine, Mr. Abner. Very useful. Oh, that wasn't too bad. In the blind panic, I'd forgotten that some random person on the internet sent me a car vacuum cleaner. It was okay. The fast food run was still gonna happen. Right, it clearly says the airflow goes that way. Uh, so I believe that's the right way to put it in. Oh no, a flesh wound. It was then that I realized I had a slightly hurty finger. What was I meant to do? Yeah, it's only a scratch, it'll be fine. Let's get this new filter in. Oh, come on, you better fit. There's a lot at stake. Oh, why won't the screw go in? Oh, thank floof for that. I think I'd better check that the fan actually works. Oh yeah, it makes quite a difference actually. I think we're safe. The relief was immense. It worked. Oh, I, I, I was worried because if another job goes wrong, I thought I was in serious danger of losing the shop. It just goes to show if you have belief, you can overcome. Yeah, okay, that's a, all, all the silliness done with, but I thought otherwise it's gonna be really boring because you just take it out and put a new one in. But yeah, have another look at that. No one ever changes cabin filters, but I noticed that the airflow was so bad that it really wasn't working at all. I'm just gonna grab the screwdriver to show you how disgusting this is. I mean, how any air was getting through this, I don't know. But yeah, look, there's, it's just dust and crud and bits of leaf and fluff. I don't know what the fluff's from. I don't really want to breathe that in, to be honest. That's uh, revolting. 
Uh, thankfully it's dry, unlike the one I took out the Rover 75, but I, again, I'd noticed that the car would steam up when I was driving along, unless I had the fan going full pelt back before I fixed the heater resistor. So uh, that, that should hopefully stop that happening. It'll just increase the airflow through the car, even when the heater's not on. But very common, and what that tends to do is overheat the resistors, because I told you when I did the resistor job, the re resistors sit in the airflow. So if there's any restriction to that airflow, then there's nothing to cool them down and they overheat because they're resisting and they get warm while doing so. So hopefully that'll be some real improvement to the Primera here. So there you go. That was just a silly quick little update. I'm just going to bolt the gearbox back in, which is no stress at all, as long as you have the right screwdriver. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. And the irony is, it did actually come with instructions. Really quite good ones.